Hey guys, so today I'm here with a video on what to expect in next week's Apple iPad 2 event. Uh, so if you don't already know, Apple today sent out the press invites for their iPad 2 event uh, come March 2nd, which of course is one week from today. Uh, now before I get into all of my predictions and what to expect, I just do want to give you guys a quick update. Um, I'm not going to be live streaming the event, however if you are interested in seeing what the you know the blow by blow exactly as it happened, you can follow me on Facebook and or Twitter. Um, my Twitter is of course just Duncan33303 and my Facebook I'll have the links down there. So if you guys are at work, at school, whatever, and you can't watch the event live, you can go ahead and follow me up and I'll be tweeting live updates just continuously. Uh, anyway, so, so what we can expect to see, uh, again, like I said, to nobody's surprise, is going to be the iPad 2. Uh, the current iPad has done tremendously well, however, it's really starting to look outclassed. There are a huge variety of other tablets, such as the Zoom, the Playbook, the Touchpad. Um, you know, there's lots of really, really good looking tablets that are coming out right now. Uh, so this is Apple's opportunity to step it up by increasing you know, the specs, um, you know, add new features and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, what I definitely expect to see is an upgraded processor, almost definitely a dual core processor, probably like the Apple A5 or I don't know what they decide to call it, but most likely either a 1 or 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, hopefully about a gigabyte of RAM, maybe 512 megabytes, but at any rate it should have a substantial boost in RAM. Uh, now, some of the other things that, about it, uh, it does seem like it will have the same size and the, basically the same display. Uh, so we're not going to be seeing any retina display as far as I know, which is eh, a little bit disappointing, but to be honest, the current iPad display is pretty good. Uh, now, it should be, the overall design should be redesigned a bit. Now, don't expect a huge, you know, just rework, just, you know, they're, they're going to throw it all out. It's just going to be some moderate upgrades. So it should be thinner. Um, if you guys know about the iPod Touch 4th generation, as they, when they redesigned that, I expect to see a very similar redesign for the iPad, make it a little bit thinner, make the edges more tapered. Uh, it also should have both a front and rear facing camera, so the front facing camera should just be VGA quality for FaceTime, and the rear facing camera will most likely also be from the iPod Touch. Uh, it should be about 720p, although it won't be really that great for pictures and stuff, but for FaceTime and that sort of thing, it should do the trick very well. Uh, now, a lot of the leaks we've seen actually seem to indicate that the iPad is going to have a lot more options. So of course it's going to have the 30 pin dot connector, all of your standard buttons, however it very well also might have a speaker, uh, which is something of course the current iPad actually has pretty good speakers, got some good sound, but um, very well it might have better sound. In addition, it also might have a new port called Light Peak or perhaps Thunderbolt. Uh, so this is something interesting that we've only just now been hearing about. Apple and uh, Intel have been working together on a new sort of thing similar to like USB except much much faster called Light Peak. Uh, well, now there's a lot of talk about it actually being available in the new MacBook Pros coming out in a few days. And if it's there, I would not be surprised whatsoever if we actually do see it in the iPad. So that might be definitely something to watch for. Anyway, guys, that's it for all of the predictions. Of course, do keep an eye out for next Wednesday. The uh, You can check, all, I'll have all the different time zones for when it begins. And of course, you follow me on Facebook or Twitter uh, to get the live updates. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.